Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What is going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any. And what do you need to know? So whenever you do come across this reading will be the right time. So always take what resonates, leave out the rest, practice using your own discernment. And don't forget to like, comment, follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I'm Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And if you're interested in a personal reading done by myself or my sponsor, all of the information is in the description box below. Wow. Scorpio, you have a, an offer, a proposal coming in into your life. I'm seeing, I'm hearing marriage. So engagements, higher levels of commitment, commitments. You may be starting over with somebody, like having some sort of new fresh start, maybe a new home. Uh, a new uh, destination you had to surrender you had to get to this point where you fully let go of any expectations and just be in the present moment and you've stopped focusing so much on the future or the past but just being present I'm seeing that you have stayed true to yourself and true to how you feel and I see that in this very emotional space, you were able to let go and and move on from situations that just weren't serving you. I'm picking up on cancer, so maybe you have cancer in your chart or you could be dealing with one. But I do see that you've been in this situation where you had to give your time to people and I also see that you've also been on the other hand where um, at some point you may have been asking for things or you may have been needing support from situations or people and then it feels like I'm hearing deceived so in the past you may have felt like you were deceived by people that could have given more like you see how this person has this behind their back like they could have given more or Somebody could have given more and you felt like you were being breadcrumbed in a situation, but you had to let go and you had to just kind of work with what you had. I'm seeing you found out the truth. You found out clarity. You, you know, now um, somebody's true character, you know, that somebody just wasn't in a, uh, wasn't in a headspace that they could give you what you wanted. And I'm seeing that things came to a stop. This person may have put a stop to something, whatever it is, like you now know that everything had happened for a reason because now I see you starting over with someone else and I'm seeing you're moving on from the past. You're moving forward and you're moving to a better place, a better destination. You're leaving the darkness behind and you're moving forward with hope. There's like this newfound hope. You've you've moved on and you're starting your life over. I'm seeing there's a whole change happening in your lifestyle with this high priest wanting to do things maybe a more traditional way. And I'm seeing this is also commitment. So I do pick up that there's some commitment coming in a higher level of commitment with this high priest that's in the works here so moving forward towards a, a new commitment with someone and this is going to be a huge change in your life i'm seeing your healing from from even like the dark parts within yourself the shadow parts, healing from addictions, toxic attachments, you're 
pouring into yourself spiritually, emotionally, and physically. So we do have this person around you who is showing up like they are wanting to give to you. They may have other people as well that they have to give to. But I'm seeing that you made the right choice is what I'm hearing. You made the right choice to move on and to move forward because this person's in the same place where they are unable to, to basically give you what you want or give you what you've been needing. So you made the right choice. I'm picking up that this person is about to take action towards you, towards making things more lighthearted. I'm seeing news coming in, exciting news. They're coming towards you passionate and excited for this new beginning with you. I'm seeing with this three of um, swords reverse, like they're completely over their past or over any disappointments that had happened before. And they want to come towards you being honest and being truthful. And I'm seeing also rational. They're putting a lot of thought into how they're going to come towards you. They're looking for clarity because they feel unawakened still. Like there's still certain things that they don't know. They don't, they don't really know how you feel is what I'm picking up. This person's unaware of how you feel. I'm seeing crossroads. So this person is like um, looking at two different doors or two different ways of going about the situation that they're at a crossroads. I'm seeing letting go. So this person is letting one door behind in order to move forward. Ooh, <laughs> obsession. This person is a little bit obsessed with you. And so I see them wanting to let go of um, any other possibility that there could have been in their life or any other person because this person is literally like obsessing over you. Can't stop thinking about you. Extremely attracted to you. They feel a very strong magnetic attraction that like they just can't get you off their mind. And so they're going to try to come forward towards you with a lot of a lot of passion, very like attracted to you as I just keep hearing that like this person is so attracted to you. Um, I'm seeing gut feeling. So they have a gut feeling that this connection is meant to be. And it's like they're literally obsessing over this. They have a gut feeling that you two are, are meant to be together. And this will continue to grow. I'm seeing romantic feelings here. Someone's going to express their, their feelings. This is going to get deeper on a romantic level. You two are coming together. Wow. I got one card on the ground. Three of Pentacles. If there were any issues, I do see you guys working them out. Building a life together. Helping each other out, collaborating. Wow. I literally see you and this person like working towards building a life together. Family, um, a home, a stable home, building a solid life together. And someone's going to reveal their romantic feelings here. Things are going to work out in your favor. This, because you're moving on, you're moving forward. I'm hearing promised land. Like you're moving towards the promised land. There's going to be a lot of peace. You're moving towards a 
peaceful outcome, but you had to let go of things that weren't serving you for that to happen. Is there anything else that Scorpio should know? I'm seeing unfinished business. So at some point, there may have been unexplored emotions or feelings here, but there's going to be an opportunity to express this. It's not over. I'm hearing it's just begun. Growth. You're about to see a lot of growth in your life. And again, romantic feelings are going to keep growing and growing and blossoming. Oh, a new home. You're going to be moving to a new home as well. Mm, intimacy. I'm seeing you two getting closer, more intimate with each other. Divine intervention. Things are about to change. This is divinely planned. Um, I'm seeing travel uh, with this globe. It could be at a distance. But... Like, this person's literally going to show you that they're, like, addicted to you. You two are going to be so addicted to each other. But I'm not picking up, like, in an unhealthy way. They're currently watching you. I'm seeing the numbers 3, 6, 9. The letters S, R, U, O, F, E. D and G. So those numbers are letters. They may resonate. But with that being said, this is what I'm picking up. This is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you did make it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And with that said, I hope that you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.